Now it's no secret that I am not the best at responding to my messages, just ask my friends. Uh, the last time I was up here, I was up with my friend Jocelyn. We didn't get a chance to go to Roller Mills, but since then, I've received a few picture messages from some vendors who have restocked and opened booths here. So I'm excited to be back. Of course, I'm looking for stuff for my weekly variety sales. I'm also looking for poodles. I really need to find some good poodles. Uh, I might have scheduled that show prematurely. Uh, I'm also looking for deer and I have the dog train, but let's go in and see what we can find. I'm super excited about this one. Uh, I'm kind of holding my breath. I know that there's gonna be some epic finds in there. What is this hiding up here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, please be affordable. Oh no, there's no tag on it. Somebody took the tag off, what jerks? Uh, maybe I can see if they can call them. This is totally worth the energy. Now, it also looks like that might be a Hager planter. It's $10, 15% off. I'm definitely gonna grab that or at least look at it, make sure. These are so cool. 23 and 28, 15% off. The cat's at 32. Um, little cat game. That's at retail for sure. Look at me, I'm so proud of myself looking at all this Halloween stuff. All right, well, I did go ahead and grab the Hager pumpkin planter. That was a steal at like $7.15. I love this celluloid bangle. $16 as is though. What about this one? 26. Oof. Um, all right. They're also going to get a price on those salt and pepper shakers for me. In the meantime, oh my gosh, I like this pumpkin bowl, even though it looks contemporary. Look at me. That's so fun. $6 and 20% off. It's new, but it's fantastic. Um, let me, whoa. Let me look over here first. Okay, I have a lot going on. Um, first and foremost, 33, fabulous, but a little bit more than I'd like to spend. My plush have been kind of hit or miss, and that one's at 21. This is very cool. $13. Looks like, is that tape or a crack? I can't tell. 13 and 20%, so like 11 bucks. I kind of want to pick that up. Um... This is kind of cool, even though it's new. Yeah, I am gonna grab this. <laughs> it's always a sign when I try to walk away and I can't seem to let myself. And I love all the carved bangles in there, but they're definitely at retail. Oh, it's been so long since I've been here. I'm so excited. So much fantasticness. Um, I love the Easter picks. The set's at 75, which if you piece them out, honestly, it's pretty fair. Those rabbit ones especially are harder to find. These are very neat too. 40% off. Is this gonna be a fake out? There's a few things here I'm interested in. I have to do the math. 44. How about this little carnival? It's interesting. Um, ooh, I see the Northwood in there, 32. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little math here. Oh my gosh, this is all 40% off too. I'm gonna be here forever. Yeah, so, so far everything I'm interested in, um, I haven't done the math on the no Northwood base, but everything else is kind of close for me to pick up. It's really, oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Poodle, poodle, poodle. One I've never seen before and it's $7. Now, this does look like it has a repaired ear, but I think it's so cute that for $7 with that little flower basket, I think I can still get away with it. I've been really trying not to pick up damaged items, but I love this. Yeah, so it's like 21 bucks, basically. Uh, totally fair price. If it wasn't the white one, I'd probably pick it up, but uh, I like the greens and the colored ones. I feel like I've had that one a few times. I don't want to spend that much. This is of interest to me too. Mini vase. This looks like end of day pottery and it's 50% off. So it's 50 cents. That's a no brainer. Now what's going on here? 
six dollars oh my gosh that's so cute it has a hairline but it's kind of a, it's, uh, what am i doing here yeah this one has a hairline and a chip i can't do both that's too extreme for me it is so busy in here <laughs> um she's adorable at 10 that's totally reasonable the washer dryer at six are they cracked don't look like it i think i'll take those these are so cool these were um gifted when you bought a washer or dryer from westinghouse back in the day what's happening here interesting look at this cute planter bear with sweater <laughs> that's adorable 10 bucks totally reasonable kaleidoscope fun those have been doing all right for me but i think i had that one just like a few weeks ago ah. oh my gosh okay it's missing its wings that's why i was gonna say that is one of the more desirable months what about these little those are cute i also pulled this this is very cool five bucks i think i'll take that it's really different Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They did price those salt and pepper shakers, so I'm gonna grab those for 10. This one's at five, we'll take that. That looks almost like wheels are left in maybe. Um, I could be wrong, I'm not an expert, but what about the little girl vase? 10 bucks, she's adorable. She's missing her umbrella, but for 10 bucks, I kind of feel like I don't care. We'll take her too. Um, peacock. <laughs> His nose is broken, unfortunately. Yeah, those ones with the umbrellas, this don't sell that well for me, surprisingly. Um, but for $10, I kind of feel like you can't go wrong. This is very cool. This one's at eight. I kind of love him. I'm just making sure he's not repaired anywhere visible. I don't really want his scarf is glued on so i'm just gonna assume the best <laughs> i'm gonna take that and cat that style never does that well for me honestly i find um they don't really sell it all for me and if they do it's not much poodle graduation theme never does well for me either ten dollars yeah i don't know i kind of I kind of want to stay away from graduation themed items. Look at all the little bisque dolls. Jointed. I like the jointed ones. Oh my gosh, a little majorette. How cute. Five bucks. She's adorable. A lot going on on this shelf. Um, of course, I am passing on a lot of stuff that I've picked up in the past. One, because I want to switch it up a little bit. And two, because, well, not only do I want to switch it up, this is amazing trying to be a little picky it's got a little swedish though so neat oh my gosh the train is so aggressive uh this is at eight dollars and fifty cents that's pretty epic 9.50 for this vase yeah i'm trying to switch it up i was gonna say something else but the train distracted me and i don't know what it was honestly <laughs> All right, so I've barely gotten anywhere, so I've decided I'm gonna take a break from that section and uh, hit it on my way out. I'm really excited to go downstairs, especially because I know that one of the vendors I bought a bunch of stuff from, so pretty, um, not that long ago from another antique mall, just opened a booth down there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what is happening here? I have no idea what that is, but you really wanna know. I'm also really into the bubble bubble wand. That's um, definitely on the spendy side. And the cat horn, I think that says 22, if I'm not mistaken. I remember what I was gonna say now. I was gonna say, I, don't, I can't pick up everything. There's so many good deals in here. It's also my first stop of the day. And um, I find the prices up this way are mostly pretty reasonable. What? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to be a little bit picky. This probably weighs like a hundred pounds. This decanter, is that what that is? It's all perfume. Wow, that's amazing with the egret. That's at 35. I don't really understand.
understand why that's as inexpensive as it is. I feel like it's worth more than that. I can't help but notice another harder to find set of salt and pepper shakers. Of course, the price tag's covered. 22, okay. Yeah, I could make a few bucks off those, but not enough to justify. I wanna say my last set sold for 35, maybe? Maybe I made that up, maybe it was more. Either way, I don't really wanna be in at 22, especially because it's the second time I would have had them in a year. You guys, it's a vomit dog. Oh my gosh. He's at 15, but he's so good. He would be perfect for the dog train. This is very cool too. There's a lot of really interesting things in this case. It's all a little close. Um, maybe I'll finish up the cases and if I'm still thinking about the vomit dog at 15, I'll scoop him up. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, first of all, I can't ignore the Arnart ones. Okay, they're $100. They're definitely hip to it. Those Arnart red polka dot bow tie chicks are incredibly hard to find. $100 is not out of the question for retail. I love the beach girls in bikinis. Those are at 15. And the like little ghost sperm things. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what else to call them. Um, I think they're tadpoles maybe. Uh, let's see. And then the starry-eyed Santa, oh, the star spaghetti Santas, those are at 50. That's, that's definitely high. Um, and then the onions are at 45. And then the Relco Santa and Slay, I'm just gonna assume that's spendy. I see Holt Howard back there. What are those elves? Dude, what are the elves? We, we need keys actually. Um, I'm gonna look at the elves. And I see Holt Howard down here in 2235. Uh, this is Salt and Pepper Shanker Paradise. Those are missing their eyes, but they're low key Holt Howard, if I'm not mistaken. They're just newer than the other ones. I'm also noticing these older black cat cake toppers. Um, they're 29, 20% off. It looks like it's for the pair. So those come to like $11 each. That's actually a really decent price. I might scoop those up. Might get a little crazy. Now I did take a look at some of the salt and pepper shakers. I grabbed one set. A lot of them were um, a little closer, a little more common if they were priced right. These are so fun. I don't do candles though. There's too many things that can go wrong. And I'm still kind of thinking about the vomit dog, but I think it might be a little bit more than I'd like to pay. Oh my gosh, look at how big this J. Chen tin is. I feel like they're usually like half that size. Now these are incredibly cute. These little candy baskets. Hmm, I really wanna grab those. I'm kinda over cases at the moment and I'm nervous they'd get damaged. Ugh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What in the hell is this? What? This is the coolest looking bracelet I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Well, have mercy on me. Uh, I definitely asked if they could call and see if the vendor could do a little bit better on that bracelet. I did a little bit of homework. I feel like it's reasonably priced, but it's also an extremely specific buyer which just happens to be me, and I'm not sure if I'm comfortable spending uh, like a hundred plus bucks on a bracelet for myself. So I finally heard back. They said they'd do 95. I don't know if I feel comfortable spending that much on a bracelet that takes up that much arm real estate, especially because I'm just kind of rough on stuff. So I think I'm gonna hold back. <laughs> it's really cool though. Um, if you do get a chance, definitely look up Richard Minadio. Uh, very incredibly cool jewelry. Oh my gosh, speaking of incredibly cool, look at this thing. <laughs> what is happening with this space? That's only 15? What? That's so cool. What is that? How much is that green one? I think I'm gonna need a key. <laughs> I'm really into that base. And of course, I also noticed the Relpo. Relpo cowboy bear planter. That is a more desirable one little toothpick holder with the seashells. Yeah, this, this, this face is curious to me. 
oh, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm so over the cases though. Um, I see the fish hors d'oeuvres holder. That's at 15, that's a really good price. And the poodles, 19, that's a little bit more than I'd like to spend. Now, I don't normally do glass baskets, but this pink opalescent one is really pretty. Um, maybe I'm gonna go downstairs and, and do this on the way back because the key situation is a little stressing me out right now. Oh my gosh, the owl. Mm -hmm.